Time now for our hometown heroes, where we stop to recognize someone who deserves some spotlight. Baby Buns for Life in Virginia helps families with premature babies still in the hospital. Our News Nation reporter, Rachel Keller, talks to the woman who started the program and shares her story. For parents Courtney and Kennard Curtis, the NICU at St. Francis Medical Center is an all too familiar sight. Their newborn son has spent the last several weeks here, a similar situation to what they experienced with their daughter just a few years earlier. A discharge day where, you know, the mother is, is being sent home. It's a. It's a hard day. A feeling Dana Griffin Graves knows all too well. One day in the NICU is like a lifetime. Graves gave birth to her son Caleb prematurely in October of 2015. He weighed in at less than one pound after spending 356 days at VCU Medical Center. Graves and her husband Arkell used over 10,000 in donations to start Baby Buns for Life. The nonprofit made donations to the NICUs at four Bon Secours hospitals in the Richmond area. NICU director. Director Dr. Ann Hurens is thankful for the collaboration. It's not just about having a sick child and moving from crisis to crisis, but it's, you know, the feeling of leaving your baby in the NICU, leaving your baby in the care of strangers. Graves now dedicating her life to help others. The nonprofit delivers baby buns blessing bags filled with supplies like gift cards, journals, and clothing. An act of service giving comfort to anxious parents. To know that um, I'm able to make an impact on someone, just a small impact by just giving them something to, you know, brighten their day, that makes us feel wonderful. Rachel Keller, News Nation, Richmond.